the heat tomorrow, and we all know about the coolers of our horses and we've got the resting pants and everything. We were talking about how, as riders and athletes, you cope with the heat. So we've discovered that Stuart's probably going to need a nice water bottle somewhere, and Shane's got a good cooling system. Um, what about yourself? Oh, I've got less hair than that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do, so I get too old. Jeez. No, uh, I, for riders, I think we ride four horses a day, you know, lots of one day events that are hot in the summer in February. And um, I think I, I remember once at Scone, um, I was riding a horse, and two in the advance, and it was like 41 degrees. And the starter was yelling at me to go, come on, you got to get on. I'm like, I'm not going, I'm just not that. And he said, no, no, I'm going to eliminate you. I said, no, 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 I've just got off this horse. And you know what, the next horse is owned by the people who run the event, so I'd like to take it up with her. <laughs> but um, it's actually not a, it's not a huge pose. It's much more important to be having the horses looked after. Um, but I think, uh, you know, it'll be hot, absolutely. But I don't think you'll see us. I hope I'm not dying of exhaustion. I shouldn't be if I'm not, I'm not fit enough. So. Um, and we know at this event you've got to have 14 in the, in the four star. Um, how does that you know, affect you as riders? Do, are you, you're obviously at the point that there's not four people out there to challenge you, or maybe not? Uh, look, look, you can only compete against the circumstances you're put in front of. Like, it doesn't have the, even remotely affect me. Uh, if there are a hundred here, <laughs> yeah, I look if I'm winning, yeah, absolutely. But look, when we when we go out and compete, we don't compete against each other so much. We compete against the judges and the horses. No, sorry, and the course. Um, so you know, like we go out and we do our best job. If there's 50 people here, I'm not going to change the way I ride. I have to do the best job if there's four. I mean, if there's two people here, if I don't do a good job tomorrow and, and, and hopefully on Sunday, that I'm not going to win anyway. So if there's 60 people, if I don't do a good job, I'm still not going to win. It's a, to me, it's irrelevant. I mean, you know, these guys are, I mean, Stuart's won gold medals and Grace, you know, got a horse that's won three star, uh, three days before. And, you know, like, they're both really good competitors. So, you know, I, I, I need to be be on my game just as much because it's a small field as if there were hundreds of them. And generally, when you, when you have larger numbers, you don't necessarily have more people that are better at the top. You just have a bigger range. So, you know, you still probably would find that, you know, there would be similar people sitting here if there were 40 people in the classes to 14. I think, that, you know, you can only... Riders can't do anything to put the other riders off, you know. The, the, the sport itself is what the competition is about. It's not about, I can't jump out from behind a bush and show him to come up to the jump. <laughs> Maybe his horse sort of run off something. I could try it. He might not have you. Someone else to do it. see me. But so, yeah, that's what Shane's saying. It's, it's actually not an absolute uh, competitive, you know, combatant sport. Except, uh, it, I guess, uh, we're just trying to do our best against the course and then the show jumps. Uh, we've, we've got the lowest possible penalty score we can get in the dressage and now we have an opportunity to get no penalties from now on in. Uh, that's obviously impossible in the dressage, but from now on in you can get zero and it's up to the rider to be able to do that. And uh, you can't do anything to any other competitor to influence how they go about that. Oh, the other thing I was going to ask, Craig, um, I understand that you look down as a first timer here. Yeah, well, if you have enough goes and everything, you end up getting good at it, you just got to stick at it. He says, I've had a few goes and not quite been very successful. So I'm actually um, in the first timers, but that's the end, there's another section. I'm in the old timers, first timers section. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it'll be interesting. But no, look, I. My competition career at Four Star is definitely limited. Um, I think the horses that um, I've, I've had in the past have sort of have been good horses, but they've never quite made the top top level. You know, and these guys have got Olympic gold medals, Olympic silver medals, and I think that's really, uh, you know, it's a privilege for Australians to be able to compete against these guys. And it's part of what makes our sport so strong is that we come to this event knowing that if you 
you're competing against guys like Shane Stewart, you're, you're actually competing against the best in the world because they've been done it now. I haven't been there and done that, but um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, like, good. So, so you know, you know, I'm so I'm going to see this in the mouth of my own way. I don't know how that works, but I think it's because I haven't completed the first year. So I am at the first time in the session. I am nervous when I tried to mix it last night with the 18 year olds on the dance floor. I said I was the first time of it, and I appreciate it. Um, the feedback that you've got from the riders about the course, um, have you had any sort of discussion with the riders? Are they, they all seem to be happy with the way everything's going, the way everything's going? So, Bart, I don't know what else to speak with riders about the day because he's been busy riding two horses. No, it's been, uh, uh, no, I mean, we've, we've had a discussion, we've, we've looked at a few little bits and pieces. You know, it's always, you always want to have a good open discussion with the riders, and we've, we've got, tried to do that again and this weekend. And this, Few little insignificant, relatively insignificant things that we've looked at and we'll continue to tinker with, but nothing, nothing major. Your opinion on the box as compared to the other four bikes on the board? I think that uh, it's certainly big enough. Uh, uh, it's, it's a decent length, we've got 10 and a half minutes plus, um, which is a good, good distance. Uh, technically, I actually I started thinking that it wasn't as technical as last year, and I think it probably is as technical as last year now, the more I thought about it. So, um, I think it's a decent four-star track. You ask yourself the question, is it a three-star, a seven or three-star? So, therefore, it's a four-star.